Hey guys, so here I've recreated the graph from the question, and this is the Lorenz curve. It graphs uh, income, well, percentage income, we'll call that Y, on the Y axis, and on the X axis it graphs population, and both of these quantities are in percentages. So what this is meant to show is it's meant to show uh, what amount of income, what proportion of income in society corresponds to which proportion of the population. So for example, um, here's the actual Lorenz curve, this green line here. And this is kind of meant to represent society, right? We know there's income inequality in society. So what that means is that the poorest 20%, the number I've outlined here, uh, they actually own less than, um, they, uh, they possess less than 20% of the wealth, right? If we look at the corresponding Y value uh, over here, we can see that it's closer to around 10%. Um, and we can do this uh, same analysis for the wealthier side, right? The wealthy 20% of people, this amount, owns much more than 20% of the wealth, right? If we had to look at the curve, we could see they own this much corresponding to this point on the Lorenz curve. That's about 50%. So um, what this blue line represents is called the line of equality, and it represents the society in which uh, every person has the same income. So um, looking at the line of equality, we can see a point like this point, point E, uh, represents a scenario and not only there is 100% income equality because that is the definition of this turquoise line called the line of equality but it also represents the scenario in which there is a one-to-one -one ratio between population and income so if we look at the numbers here we can see that uh, at point E 20% of the population owns 20% of the income so we can write that ratio 20% to 20% and we can see that clearly this simplifies to 1 to 1.